I want to ask you a question before we start today. Are you financially where you want to be? If your answer is no, then on today's video, I want to start to help you get ahead and teach you exactly how to get ahead. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, we talk about how to make money from the internet through multiple different investment streams. And on today's video, I want to talk about how to get ahead and actually do it and have a deliberate plan to do so. By the way, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're creeping up at the time of recording this on 5,000 subscribers and that would mean so much to me. And also click that like button if you enjoy this content. So first things first, I want to give you guys a visual demonstration. This black line I'm about to draw as straight as possible represents your bank account. Now over here, you can insert any amount of money that you want. Whatever's in your bank account right now, insert that in. That is what you currently have. Now most people, they think, and we've made videos on this before, and they are taught that putting money away, save your money, save your hard earned dollar is the way to get ahead in life. And most of the time they're taught this from whether it's family, friends, teachers, colleagues, doesn't matter. They're taught this because that gives them a safe perspective in life. If I can save money, I'm getting ahead. The more I save, the more I get ahead. However, the thing that people, I'm gonna grab a different color marker here, fail to understand is that this right here is a visual representation of the overall economy. The economy, two to three percent a year with inflation heading up and up and up, okay? And so right now, as you can already see from this starting point, your bank account is getting beat out by the economy. So what does this mean? This is a deficit area in red. This area is you, year after year, losing. So when you're thinking to yourself, wow, I got a dollar raise after a year, wow, I got a 1% a raise this year, whatever the case may be, when you're thinking that, you're not catching up the money that you're making, this might be the amount of money you make on a salary, you're not catching up to what the overall world is doing because the world is doing what most of the time? Going up, unless it's in a recession. So if the world is going up and you're baselining yourself and you're plateauing, you're not going up, what's happening? this red area occurs. This is what's called your deficit. Okay, so this red area is your deficit. So the question becomes, how can I change my bank account to this? How can I knock all this out? What I just drew for you is a visual representation. No, that's not a, a, a horn or anything. This is a visual representation of how to get ahead. You have to figure out how can I create an income stream that is beating out the economy, that is beating out that two, three percent, whatever it is, inflation each year. Your bank account is not going to get you there. That job that you just continually save, 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 that's not going to get you there because what this means, for those of you guys that are still trying to get this, is that if this is $100,000, let's say, this black line is $100,000. That will get you $100,000 worth of stuff today. But in 10 years, that'll only get you $90,000 equivalent or whatever the case may be. This is the type of information you must understand. So, now that we have seen a visual representation, how do we actually get ahead? Well, it comes down to this green area. How can we find positive interest that beats out the blue line. What can I invest in? Well, a lot of people, what they do immediately is they hurt themselves because the average Joe takes their bank account and does this and makes this gap even wider. Why do they do that? Because they need to buy that latest MacBook Pro. They've got to have the iPhone. They've got to have that new pair of shoes. They've got to have that new, that new dress, whatever the case may be. And they're putting their money in consumable items that make them feel good in the short term. The rich and wealthy are on the green line. 
They're putting their money away. They're sending their money out and they're not getting that gratification. Think about it this way. You could have the same person making the same amount of money. This is person A in the red line. This is person B. Person A in the red line just bought a car. Person B is still driving that old Honda Civic. N nothing against Honda Civics, but you get the gist. Driving that older car. Person A is driving that new Beamer. Person A looks to society like they're successful while person B doesn't. However, person B is actually the successful one. Because what they are doing is they are doing something called delayed gratification. They are putting their money in positive interest. So what is positive interest? Positive interest is yourself, your business, real estate, anything that is appreciating. So when you buy a property, what is it normally doing? Appreciating. When you invest in a stock, what is it doing? Normally appreciating. When you invest in your business, this is where people don't think about this, but if you invest in your business and that money, say that's a $10,000 investment in your business for a new uh, lease on a new office, whatever the case may be, some new equipment, you invest in that, that can increase your interest, AKA your revenue and make you more money. Where again, this person is investing in consumables, those new pair of shoes, that vacation, those sort of things. And they're continually dragging themselves down the totem pole and the gap gets wider. Lastly, before I leave, I want you to think about this statement. If we were to distribute all of the wealth in the world, everywhere around the world right now, and distribute it evenly to every human being. You're, I'm talking about the Bezos, Warren Buffetts, the Bill Gates. They all have the same amount of money as you, as you and I right now. Those wealthy people, all of them, the money will redistribute to them over time again and again and again. It's because the wealthy and the rich already have the habits and they have the knowledge to put their money in smart, appreciating businesses, assets, stocks, whatever the case may be. They are appreciating at all times. The money that they make along this path at first is then reinvested again and again and again. Eventually it's going to be so much that then that's how they buy the expensive luxuries. That's how they're traveling all the time. That's how they have the nice cars because they're now using that money, not that money to pay for it. I hope this helps you. I hope it wakes you up and I hope that you have an amazing 2020. Click the like button if you enjoyed today's video and I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.